All my heroes are ready to answer this case. We have a 76 year old female coming to you complaining. Quote, my legs are swollen. I'm tired all the time. So you order some labs. The hematocrit is 25%, which is low. This is anemia. White blood count of 42,000. This is leukemia. Platelet count is 90,000. This is thrombocytopenia. Peripheral smear shows circulating lymphoblasts greater than 20%. This is acute leukemia. Okay, then bone marrow biopsy confirms the diagnosis with this translocation of 922 Philadelphia positive ALL. Okay, she asks you, what therapy should I get? You answer, A, you should be fine, go home and enjoy life. Or B, I'll treat you symptomatically only. Or C, prednisone, vincristin, donorobicin, L-asparaginase, as if it's just a normal case of ALL or a regular case of ALL. Or dexamethasone plus desatinib or thalidomide, malfen, and prednisone. Okay, so C is correct if it was ALL with negative Philadelphia chromosome. E will be the answer if this is multiple myeloma. Okay, you should be fine, go home and enjoy life. No, this is wrong. She has leukemia, acute leukemia. This may be correct in cases of CLL stage 0. I'll treat you symptomatically only. No, baby, she has cancer. Look at the numbers. These are terrible. So we give her dexamethasone plus desatinib. This is the correct answer because she has the T922 translocation Philadelphia chromosome treated by a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Anything that ends in a tenib such as imatinib or desatinib. So D is the correct answer. Guys, you are the best. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Please share my videos. Until next time.